British Gas, proud sponsors of the British swimming teams. Hey Manchester, I'm Lisa Leyland. I'm here at the British Gas Swimming Championships 2011. Day two of the British Gas Swimming Championships promises an evening of compelling action with four British titles at stake, a raft of semis and four multi-class events. In the 100 meters butterfly, Aussie-based Ellen Gandhi has blazed her way down the pool in the heats and semis and looks unbeatable. Behind her, the contest for silver and bronze will be a tight-fought affair, with Gemma Lowe, Jessica Sylvester and Rachel Kelly all posting sub-60 seconds in their semis. And you can never discount gutsy British record holder Francesca Halsall, whose winter training has been disrupted by her ankle injury and subsequent surgery. Footnote. It'll be very interesting to see how near Gandhi can get to Halsall's British mark. She's clearly profiting from the Australian regime. European 400 meter individual medley champion Anna Miley goes in the 200 IM and after producing a lifetime best in the 400 meter freestyle final last night, she's clearly in top form, which may see her edging near to the British mark for this event, which she holds. The top three qualifiers for the men's 100 meter breaststroke medal race are specialists over the 200 meter distance. Commonwealth Games 200 meter silver medalist Michael Jameson is the quickest qualifier. Just one hundredth separates the next two, Andrew Willis and Christopher Gilchrist, who finished fourth and fifth respectively over the four length duel in New Delhi. Unlike the other three finals, there is no qualifying time for the 50 meters butterfly, but heading the finalist by one hundredth of a second is double Commonwealth bronze medalist Anthony James. Look out for some fireworks. And we certainly had some fireworks in the heats of the 100 meter backstroke multi-class when Jonathan Fox lowered his own world record by a massive 1.2 seconds in the S7 class, racking up 1,054 points. This Cornish swimmer, who is now based in Manchester, could be fired up for another tilt at the world mark tonight. James Crisp also goes in the 100 meters back for the S9 category and looks strong and impressive to qualify when he amassed 858 points. Three more multi-class finals, the women's 100 meters back, men's and women's 50 meter backstroke complete their program. Four semi-finals will also be raced out, which involve household names, world champions Liam Tancock, Gemma Spofforth and European gold winner Lizzie Simmons. I can't wait, bring it on. And in case you're attending, seeing uh, this form of competition for the first time, remember it's the athlete that posts a time as near to the world record of their particular category that will be adjudged the winner. Good start here in the centre of the pool by lane four. Stephanie Millwood from Swassi Performance on the S9 category. Qualification time, 112.95. She is the European record holder, Millwood. In the early stages of the competition, beginning to tighten up a little bit in the middle. Three swimmers in touch to try and touch out first, but remember, as I said, it's all about that point tally. 25 metres remaining now, and the sharp end of the race still remaining with lane four, Stephanie Millwood, coached by Billy Pye, and they're queuing up behind. Final five, here she comes. This is Millwood, just watch the clock. Touches out first, Millwood. Can Jonathan Fox of Newquay Comerance in lane eight post another world record? Put the time down this morning of 110.70 for the S7 category. Nose of the race at the moment, remaining with lane four, and that's James Chris, City of Sheffield, who also had a very impressive swim this morning. Chris is in the S9 category, and he is inside his record pace. That is the European mark that Chris holds. A little bit of encouragement from the poolside here may just help Chris to a record. We're looking at 103.32 as the European mark for the S9 category. Here comes Crisp into the final five. It's going to be very, very close. Let's have a look at it. 103.8, just shy of that European record that he holds. The rest coming in now. Right now, I've got Jonathan with me. Jonathan, you actually made a world record this morning, didn't you? Yeah, it was a really good swim. <laughs> I couldn't believe it went that fast, really, but it's a cracking swim. Fast start here by Jessica Sylvester from Nova Centurion in lane three. And at the moment it is Sylvester going very strongly over there in lane three. It's Gandhi now though, beginning to get those shoulders working as they come up to the turn. 
Look for the split time here. Gandhi, 27.18. British record. He's held by Francesca Halsell on 57.40. And they're just off record pace at the moment. But it's all about trying to get the gold medal. And, of course, the British title. Gandhi it is, leading the charge back down the pool. They're queuing up behind for second. And Halsell is also trying to come through here in lane two. The gutsy Halsell coming back from surgery, but she's not going to catch Gandhi. Gandhi takes it on the touch. Yeah, you've qualified now, so fantastic result. Yeah, I'm so relieved to qualify now. The pressure's off for the 200, but um, yeah, I'm so happy with that swim. It's a, a PB in this suit, so yeah, I'm a chuffed. <laughs> right in the middle of the pool then, that trademark start then by Liam Tancock, blazing his way down the first 50. And the rest all clinging to his coattails here as they line up for the concluding uh, five here on the opening length. And it's Tancock that will turn first. Split time then by Tancock, 26.11. Outside his uh, British and Commonwealth record, he split there on 25.37. On the way back now, second at the turn was Matthew O'Brien, University of Bath on 27.02. But it's Tancock easing his way clear and hanging on to the lead as the rest try to imply pressure. And pressure is coming from lane five. Ryan Bennett to Preston as he moves through into second place. Tancock just cruising to the wall now. Touches home first. It's Luke Wood, Loughborough University, right on his shoulder. These two at the moment tapping out the rhythm at the head. But most of the field are in touch as they come up to the wall to tidy up the first 50. So keep an eye on Walker Hebben having a good start. He leads at this stage. 26.75 his split time. Got a lifetime best as Walker Hebben of 54.76. Hebben it is then at the moment, just stretching out with the rest just clinging to him. Going well also in lane five is Grand Halsell of Plymouth Leander. And just the other side of Walker Hebben in lane three, it's Luke Wood. And these will be the first three to touch home. But the pace setter throughout is Walker Hebben, and he closes that one out in 55.32. And it's a good start by Johnson and also Mar O'Connor in lane four. So there we are, they turn. It's O'Connor then with their nose in front on 32.87. And Johnson over there in lane two, lying second at this stage, just point one slower. So, remember, it's all about the fast estate that'll make it through to the final. And if you look across the pool, there's little to choose between the swimmers here. It's beginning to tighten up significantly in the middle. Nobody's in the comfort zone here. But it's still lane four, O'Connor, with a slender advantage, and it is slender. She's coming under pressure from Stacey Tad of the University of Bath. They're stroke for stroke now, looking for the wall, but it could be O'Connor. No, I reckon it's going to be Tad in five. Let's take a look at it. Yes, there's the result. Tad takes it in five. Kerry Buchan of Edinburgh University up there in lane three. Now then, that typical high-rise style then of Haywood will tell us that she's going to turn first. She does. 32.06 is the split time. That's a fast start for Haywood. She is inside her British record pace by 0.21. Now then, are we going to get the first British record here tonight? Come on, let's get behind Kate Haywood, who's made a cracker of a star. 25 metres to go. Haywood in lane four, looking very good. And just up is Kerry Buchan in lane three, and it's these two that are ahead of the rest of the field. Strong swimming also by Larry Tynan, the Welsh record holder in five, but it's all about Kate Haywood. That British record is 107.56, held by her, but it just slips away in the closing stages. But Haywood goes sub-70. Well, away we go then for the one-lap dash. Look at lane four, Anthony James, Smith Leander, 24-4-4 in qualification. He's gone off the blocks very well here through the 25-metre marker. And it's James with the head of the race here being challenged by Jack Marriott, the 21-year-old from Oxford University, one lane up in lane three. It's very tight here into the concluding five, up to the wall. Who's going to get in on the touch? So close. And the... Winning time going then to Marriott of Oxford University. James, do you know you're actually the sixth fastest uh, ever now in that event? Uh, no, I didn't know that, no. Uh, a bit of a shock, yeah. I didn't really know. So summing up that race, how did it go for you? Uh, felt pretty good, yeah. It's only the second competition I've ever swum that race, so... Uh, yeah, very happy. And it is Simmons who's gone off the mark well here. Taking the turn, let's have a good split for her. Lizzie Simmons, 29.95. Commanding the uh, head of the race on the way back. Simmons it is. 
Such a talented backstroke swimmer. We've watched her come up through the younger ranks, and now, of course, she's fulfilling all her potential that we all saw when she was a junior. So Simmons then has distanced herself from the rest of the field by a body length, and the rest of the field are all queuing up here to put down a special time, because remember, we're looking for the quickest eight to make it through to the final. Second's going to be in lane five, Stephanie Proud, but on the touch then, Simmons takes it. Spofforth in lane four, being put to the sword at the moment in the early stages by Rachel Leafley of Loughborough University in lane three. And lane five going well as well, Georgia Davis of Swansea Performance. Davis, the holder of the Welsh record. She set that in New Delhi at the Commonwealth Games. They turn at the midway point, and it's Davis, that Welsh record holder, leading. Split time for her, 30.31. Seven one hundred quicker than the world champion, Gemma Spofforth. Three swimmers almost in a line with 25 metres to go. The experience of Spofforth from Portsmouth North Sea beginning to reflect now as she just eased herself into the lead. Remember the time by Lizzie Simmons was 61.6 in the first semis, but Spofforth, the world champion, coming up to touch first. There's a time, 61.54, just a tad quicker than Simmons. Scott now being overhauled by the two swimmers in lane five and four. And that, of course, is Lloyd in five and Rennick in four. Coming up to that turn, lining up for the concluding 50. And uh, you can see now that the, uh, the boss of the race is Rennick from the city of Glasgow. Just as it counted, he applied the pressure and moved up into the top spot. Scott turning second there, but Lloyd's in the hunt as well. Into the final 25, it's still Rennick in lane four. Just turning on the style here to ease himself ahead of the rest, but uh, Scott down in lane six is still going well as he chases Rennick home, but Rennick wins semi-final one. 148.80 then the time. So Davenport, former Commonwealth gold medalist, and uh, Carey is a former double Commonwealth gold medalist. So at the moment, these two are tapping it out at the front. But other swimmers have also got ideas of getting involved. Joshua Walsh in lane four of Blackburn starting to come through, setting itself up for a very, very nice final 50 run here. But still leading is Davenport. 80.84 is split time just ahead of Carey. Stockport Metro up to the 25-metre mark. They come now, and it's David Carey starting to put Davenport under pressure. Carey leading from Davenport and then one lane up in lane four Joshua Walsh of Blackburn these are the first three as they look for the wall but it's Carey that's going to have the last say, here he comes, Carey taps that wall on 148.98 youngster then, Allen trying to cling to the pace here of Miley and they turn for the final 50, it's still Miley leading but Allen looking good in lane one for the silver medal Coming up to the red marker here to leave 25 metres to go to tidy up this final. And it's Miley setting the pace right in the middle, looking very good indeed. But still over on the far side, Sophie Allen coming under pressure now from the swimmer in lane five, Sophie Smith for the silver. But Miley's going to take it. Here comes Miley up to the touch. And she finishes on 212.01. Hannah, you've just booked your ticket to Shanghai. Yay! <laughs> oh, that was a lot of hard work for that. Um, but really, really pleased with the swim, and yeah. I couldn't have gone any better. But Slowinski's gone away quick here, and let's look at the turn. It's going to be pretty tight here at the completion of the opening 50. Slowinski actually down in fifth, and it is Gilchrist in the middle. That's turn first. Now then, the second 50 to decide this. Lane three looking good. Chris Gilchrist, the Scottish record holder. And that Scottish record at 60.57 was set in Sheffield. But it's beginning to tighten up a little bit in the middle now because Jameson in lane four, he's now trying to challenge Gilchrist for the top spot. And also in lane two, looking pretty good as well. Three in the hunt for the top spot on the touch. It was very, very close. Were you pleased with your time there? Um, I think the time's a little bit slow there, but I mean, it was just about qualifying for, for Shanghai tonight. And yeah. uh, you know, it's a pretty good field now we've got in the British breaststroke. Um, I'm oh, delighted to get the finish there. First to finish is going to be Stevens in that lane four. Clock continues to tick on. It's gone past his British record, but Stevens closing out there. Coming up to the wall now, James Anderson. 
touches. Let's get the time confirmed. Here it is, 69.25. That gives him 759 points, so Anderson wins the concluding event. British Gas, proud sponsors of the British swimming teams.